Today in our discussion of argumentative writing, we're going to be talking about forming an opinion and why you need to be able to do so quickly when writing an argumentative essay. Our learning objectives for today, I will be able to pick a side to defend in my writing. And our essential question says, what is argumentative writing? Let's review real quick. What is argumentative writing? In earlier videos, we've talked about how in argumentative writing, the writer must make a claim, otherwise known as an argument, and stand by it with facts rather than opinions and emotion. In an earlier video, we talked about how we can't just defend both sides in an argumentative essay. We have to pick one and stick to it. Remember, when you're writing an argumentative essay, you have to be either for or against whatever the prompt is asking you. And so because of that, we're going to practice forming an opinion. I'm going to present a variety of argumentative topics pulled from Scholastic Magazine and other sources I could find. I want you to decide where you stand with each of those topics. With an argumentative essay, you either need to agree or disagree with whatever the topic prompt is asking you. This can be kind of tough. You don't necessarily have to believe firmly one way or another yourself, but you need to pick a side for your writing, even if you're not 100% sure where you stand. Remember that you need to be able to choose a side quickly. You may be only given 90 minutes to read a prompt, read an article, form an opinion, come up with three points of evidence, and then write your whole essay. So picking which side you're going to go with needs to be something you do fast. For the remainder of this video, we're going to be looking at different prompts you may get when you're writing an argumentative essay, and I really just want you to think in your head which side you would stick to. So topic number one, should students be paid to do well in school? It says the editors of a news magazine for young people want to know what students think about getting paid for doing well in school. Do you think that students should be paid to make good grades? Or do you think that this is a silly idea? Are you for or against this? Feel free to take just a second to think about it. If you want to pause at the end of each of these topics and read a little bit deeper into the situation, that's fine. But remember, try to come up with which side you're going to support within just a minute or two. Looking at topic two, should your school participate in Shut Down Your Screen Week? A group of parents and teachers in your school have made a proposal to the school board. In their proposal, they are suggesting that schools join in a national movement called Shut Down Your Screen Week. Parents, teachers, and students would agree to go a week without using technology at all. The teachers want to hear from students. Which side do you stand on? Do you support Shut Down Your Screen Week? Or are you against this idea? Topic number three, should we get rid of the penny? In this writing situation, the U.S. Treasury Department recently announced that it's debating whether to stop making pennies. They're looking for feedback from citizens of the United States. If you've not heard this argument before, some people think pennies are kind of useless, that we could just round up or down when we were purchasing things, and that they're more trouble and more expensive than they're worth. What do you think? Topic number four says, should cell phones be banned from school? In this situation, it talks about a middle school in California that's recently decided to ban cell phone use within an entire mile of a middle school. Teachers and school administrators have issues with kids cheating on tests and other things. Teachers say that students get into fights. Where do you stand? Do you think that cell phones should be banned from school? Next up is topic number five. Should schools start following an alternate school calendar? Several schools in your state are debating on implementing an alternative school calendar. In this new setup, your school will not have a traditional summer break. Instead, days off during the summer would be divided up throughout the school year so that there'd be smaller breaks going throughout. Do you think that this is a good or a bad idea? Where do you stand? Topic number six is a little bit different. It asks, should earbuds be banned? Uh, studies show that earbuds, which are just music players that fit within your ear, like AirPods, cause increased levels of hearing loss damage compared to headphones that fit over ears. Uh, some people are arguing that these should be banned and that people should only be able to use headphones. Do you think that this is a good idea or a bad idea? If it's dangerous, is it something that should be banned? 
Topic number seven is from a real world situation. It says, should hugs be banned in school? Apparently in October at Chase Middle School in North Carolina, they decided to ban hugging. They said that people used it as a form of bullying. Uh, basically, it made people feel uncomfortable and creepy when people hugged them. Do you think this is something that should be banned from middle schools? Yes or no? Topic number eight is probably the most complicated one, and you may want to pause the video and actually read through this prompt, but it's asking, is graffiti art? You need to know what graffiti is, first of all. Um, graffiti is where aerosol artists and other people paint colorful um, scenes on walls outside in public. Uh, some groups are for this, saying that it makes places look better. Some are very against it, saying that it makes places look worse. This is a tough one. You've got to decide which group you want to support. Are you with the group that believes graffiti is art and is something that should be publicly displayed whenever people put it up? Or are you with the groups that think that it should be covered up? This one's kind of tricky and may require you to think a little bit harder on your opinion, but come up with one. Do you support graffiti as being art? Or do you think that it's something that should be covered up? And now it's time to wrap it up. Remember that sometimes forming an opinion and choosing a side is not easy. You'll still need to be able to do it quickly. Remember, you can usually choose whichever side you want. It doesn't always have to be the side that you personally support. Sometimes it might just be the one that you think is going to be easier to write for. If you have any follow-up practice activities assigned for this lesson, please go ahead and start working on them. Have an excellent day.